guys welcome to today's vlog thank you so much for tuning in if it is your first time here my name is Kanyim Somi and I hope you stay you can do so by simply pressing the subscribe button down below and don't forget to turn on your notification bar as well so you know exactly when I upload videos what I'm doing today is a vlog as per usual but I am um, at home I'm not really getting any like much done outside the house i'm actually just preparing to go to the gym in a few minutes now um but for most of the day i am in the house and i just thought i would have a sit down with you guys and discuss a dietary supplement that i have been trying out for the past couple of weeks and this is from a brand called Timi. how you mix it you simply just mix it with water or juice or you can add it to your smoothie or whatever porridge you're eating as well and this is called the greens superfood blend and it has a blend of 16 different superfoods in it which is obviously guaranteed optimal nutrition into your diet i find that the problem that i've always had is i'm not really that great with eating vegetables or just eating healthy in general so using the supplement is um, great for me because then i actually get my daily intake of superfoods which is obviously healthy and just keeps my body going and operating at its optimal level um what i've found is that my energy levels have gone up uh, extremely like extremely extremely high so it does have a sense of energy boost in it um, my digestive system is a lot better because I did have a problem with bloating um, before especially later in the evening but since I've been taking the supplement I actually noticed that I haven't had any problems with bloating and I too much information but i use the toilet regularly as well which is obviously great because my body is cleaning itself so yeah i just thought i'd share that with you guys um in case you are interested in actually um trying out the supplement it's really really good i know it doesn't look like the most um appealing or appetizing drink but the taste is honestly not that bad it's not as bad as you'd think like a green juice would be it it tastes quite okay you can stomach it well i can stomach it so i'm sure you can as well and i like the fact that it's very like um quick you just mix it with water or mix it with juice and honestly that i mean to have 16 superfoods in it is absolutely great then i don't have to worry about eating my vegetables um in between the day as well so yeah i thought i'd share that with you guys and i also have a discount code that i will share with you if you would like to purchase um this supplementary um products or any other products that you find on Timi, so the details of that will be done in my description box so just have a look at that it's really nice right now because we are um, approaching black friday and i don't know about you guys but i'm a bargain queen so wherever i can save my money i love saving my money so have a look at the discount code in the description box and just more details on um tv so what i'm gonna do now is head to the gym it's actually quite late yeah it's like 25 to 1 so i'm gonna head to the gym i'm not gonna be there for long i'll probably be there for about 30 minutes 30 minutes or 45 minutes at most okay, thank you so much once again for tuning in don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to turn on your notification bell if you haven't so you know when i upload videos and most importantly don't forget to subscribe please guys like it goes such a long way and i truly appreciate you guys that are already subscribed to my channel and watch all of my videos and i will see you guys in a bit at the gym Mm-hmm. <laughs>
I am back from the gym now. I had such an amazing workout session. You guys saw the few stuff that I was doing. It always leaves my mood feeling first class. <laughs> but I've been back for a while now actually. Um, I ate, I took a shower and now I am ready to tackle this galley right here. I need to tackle this um, wig that, like I said, I started it yesterday and I'm gonna try finish it today. I really hope I finish it by tonight because I need this video out by tomorrow. So, and it does take quite long, but let's see how far we get. Let me just show you guys what is going on here. So, what I did yesterday is just the closure bit of it. Um, I started with that because it makes it easier to just align the rest of the rows with um, the closure and make sure that that's center. So, I mean, really simple. Like, I've just sewn it in there. And I'll show you guys the thread that I'm using. So, I'm not using wool. I'm actually using um, fabric thread. And as you can see down here, that's how it looks. I've done two lines so far, so I'm just going to continue stacking, stacking, stacking until I am done. Hopefully, I can do all of that today. So, what I'm using is um, thread. So, normal thread. Well, not normal. It's like quite, it's quite um, tough. So, that makes sure that it's not going to snap or anything. But this is normal fabric um, thread that I got from a fabric shop in china mall in midrand so you're gonna need that and then um i'm using a needle i don't know if you guys can see but i'm using a needle because canon just wants to focus on my face i'm using a needle like that and it's quite long so it makes it easy to um so and then obviously you just need a pair of scissors to cut and trim where you need to so i'm gonna set you guys on the side and then we will look so pale and then we will get to this wig done I'm Tell you something I could do I could be running or I'm chasing you But I won't Cause I got better, better things to do Rather spend my precious time Chasing somebody who loves me too If I got a dollar for Every time you slam the door I would be the richest girl alive Life, life if you hadn't run away Every time I asked you stay You would sleep right next to me tonight But you didn't want me All you wanted was a game to play you guys I uh, was probably left with two rows before getting here um, but this is where I am now and I actually have just one more row to go then I'm finished thank goodness 
um, but I just wanted to quickly say that I used um, one row or like one line of of the hair as opposed to using two usually i use two but i realized that that makes the wig quite bulky and like thick and big so i tried using one because i do want to turn this into like a bob and i don't want it to be too full and it must still be like nice and sleek and straight so i used one row for like one line of of weave for each each row like as you can see there and I've put them quite close together and also another thing I forgot to mention that the reason why I use um, thread as opposed to wool is also because wool makes it quite bulky and this thread is obviously much thinner and I think it just looks a lot neater and more sleek so give that a try if if you want to but yeah i'm gonna do this very last row thank god <laughs> and then i'm done but annoying thing is um i won't be able to bleach this today i was planning on bleaching it today once i'm done or creating highlights um i realized that i ran out of bleach from when i was bleaching the knots so i will have to go buy bleach tomorrow and then we'll create the highlights but luckily that shouldn't be like such a like long or hard task i think it should be fairly quick let me finish this last row and then i'll be done <laughs> this has been quite the task <laughs> hey you guys so today is the next day and i am finally done <laughs> making this wig um i straightened it last night just to see how it turned out and I was planning on cutting it and making it like um, a long bob, I think. But I'm actually liking this length and I like that it's not full. Like, oh, I love that it's not bulky or full. And I kind of like the way the color looks the way it is. So part of me is saying um, highlighted and a part of me is saying don't just leave it alone it's fine the way it is i don't know what to do i really don't know what to do because i want to highlight it but i'm also scared that it's just going to damage the quality of the hair the last um wig that i made and i bleached all oh, you guys it's a mess like i literally feel like throwing that girl away um if i can't revamp her somehow because I've tried treating it, I've a lot of you advise that I need to keep it in conditioner overnight just to lock in the moisture. I've tried that, I've tried putting on a mask overnight, still doesn't work. Like it tangles, it's dry, it just looks terrible. So I really don't advise um, bleaching your wigs unless it's hair that you don't mind parting ways with. That hair I don't mind parting ways with because... It is old and I wasn't really, I wasn't using it. It was sitting in my closet for years. So it sucks, but it's not that bad because, yeah, I was not using it anyway. Um, but I'm scared to highlight this because um, I don't want it to get damaged. Like I love, I love the quality of this hair. It's really, really nice. But let me stop rambling and just okay I'm gonna do it I'm just gonna highlight it surely it won't be that hectic um, yeah let me show you guys something so I don't think the damage will be that bad because it's just highlights so it's literally and I'm doing really fine highlights so it's literally just a couple of um, like strands of the hair that are going to be bleached and I got a different bleach to the one I was using previously um, this is called New Light, also from Disc Game. And this comes with, um, separately with the bleach powder and um, the developer. And the developer has different volumes. So I've seen a lot of this on um, YouTube. I think in the States, this is how they get their bleach. And I've seen a lot of this where the developer is separate and there's different levels of it. So 
20 no there's a there's a 10 a volume of 10 as well so the lower the volume the 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 less um toxic or stronger the bleach is on your hair so i decided to opt for this bleach and try it out i've never tried it before and i went with the volume of 20 which is pretty um it's not that hectic so i think that will obviously save the quality of the hair not do too much damage but yeah i'm rambling now so let me go ahead and just do the highlights <laughs> i'm so nervous because i like the way this hair turned out it actually looks really really nice i like this color i like this color a lot okay let's just get to bleaching all right so let's get started you guys um i have sort of sectioned the hair i'm gonna start at the bottom my um, bleach that is mixed so it's the bleach powder mixed with the um, activation cream or the developer um, I'm sure you guys aren't new to this if you haven't seen my previous video where I actually bleach um, a wig please do check it out I'll leave it in the car and then here I have my foil as well so because we're highlighting the hair we're gonna be weaving it and I'm gonna be using this um, rat tail comb I hope you guys are in focus I'm gonna be using this rat tail comb and to get started I'm so nervous you guys <laughs> Yay! okay let me um, let me section this as well so we'll start this side i think i've um yeah i'm using about these are like three rows that i'm using here so what you do to weave it is we're gonna hold it like that and you're literally just gonna section the hair like that this is tough now because okay this is not gonna work with three rows I need to use like one or two so let's put this out of the way as well I'm just using one row now instead of three and what you do to weave is literally just parting ways like that and as you can see I'm making it as fine and as thin as possible I don't want the highlights to be too much I literally just want them to be like very subtle so you just weave it like that I don't know if you guys can see you're basically sectioning and skipping sectioning and skipping sectioning and skipping the hair like that and then this should give you it should sort of divide it like that okay I don't like this one it's too thick section that okay there so you see I've sort of created weaves in between the hairs I literally just want this to be very fine highlights nothing too hectic um, yeah Something's not right here. None of this hair is. Sure, guys, this looks so easy on YouTube videos, but to actually do it is like a bit of hectic. Okay, there. I think that's fine. And then what we're gonna do. Let's take our foil. Come on now. Take our foil. And you just want to put it on like that. So put it on like that. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. And then I'm 
and then we are gonna bleach this part of the hair um try not to go too up into the roots because then it's just gonna bleed into your hair but this um color oh, this is getting messy color that like that and just make sure it's like even so you don't have um, like spots in the hair we do not want spots in the hair so all the way down like that I think it's evenly done and then you're gonna just close your foil up there's no pattern or rule to this you can literally do it anyhow so just make sure you cover the foil I mean cover the hair with the foil like that and then we'll just fold it up like that so it gets out of the way Okay, now that that's done, um, I've shown you, so I'm just going to speed you guys through the rest of it, just so we're a bit like quick. basically halfway through please don't mind the noise outside they are mowing the lawn but once you are like half halfway through i would suggest that you check the bleach of the spots that you did earlier just to see where the color is at and if you should remove the foil because you don't want to over bleach it uh, no nothing has happened here yet so i'm just gonna close it up again and i forgot to mention that because this is um a volume 20 developer um the processing takes a bit longer because the bleach isn't as strong as um a 40 volume for example so the it might take longer see like this is getting somewhere but it's not quite there yet so we just leave it so updates guys this is where we're, we are right now i'm just waiting for the top part of the hair to process i've removed the bottom parts of it i don't know if you guys can see there um i don't want it to get too blonde so i think it's safe to just remove it right now you guys if tired was a person i would most definitely be her <laughs> i would definitely be her so while i wait for this hair to process i thought i'd just share with you guys a little take a lot delivery that i got yesterday super excited for it um i ordered two little things a couple of days ago um as you guys may or may not know take a lot has a blue dot sale every single year that leads up to black friday so they have amazing sales like things are like 50 percent off 33 percent off and stuff so i decided to get myself and micah something from the blue dot sale i think it should still be ongoing right now so if there's something you've been waiting for from take a lot i suggest you go have a look now it's probably much cheaper so the first thing i'm going to share is this um it comes in a box like that this is just a little tablet um from alcatel 
it's called the 1T7 I think um, tablet it's like 7 inches big and we got this for Micah because the guy does not want to leave our phones alone like he he likes playing with our phones he likes taking pictures um, he likes playing game playing games or just like fiddling around with stuff so his dad and I decided to get him a little tablet this is really cheap um, I think it was if I'm not mistaken, it, it was 1,100 as opposed to um, like iPads and tablets from... Sorry for the noise guys, my sliding door is open and I'm really not trying to close it right now. It is boiling hot in Joburg. So you're going to have to excuse the noise. But anyway, like I was saying, it's a lot cheaper than um, your Samsung tablets or your iPads, which are slightly a bit bigger than this. Um, and yeah, uh, because it's, I guess, because it's Samsung and Apple, they're better products. They are a lot more expensive. Those go for like, um, I think from about four or five to like nine or something and we're obviously not going to get <laughs> a toddler that because chances are he's going to break it so um we opted for this little alcatel one so yeah if you're a mommy or a daddy and you are also interested in um getting something like this then do check out take a lot i think was there a sale on this i think there was a sale on this i'm not too sure um, but just have a look if you are interested and this is obviously um, Android not that it matters he's just gonna be using it for um, games and watching his little YouTube videos just something to keep him busy and yeah so that's the one thing that I got and then I ordered myself a new vlogging camera um, so to give you a bit of a background, I used to, when I started off with my YouTube channel, I started off with the Canon G7X Mark II, which was perfect for vlogging. It was very portable, um, you know, small, but I didn't like the performance of it when it came to like sit down videos. Like I feel, I felt like it wasn't, I, I wanted the whole um, blurry background look and I just wanted everything to be clean and perfect and good quality. So then I decided to upgrade my camera to, the camera I'm recording on right now is the Canon um, RP with a 35mm lens. Um, I know a couple of you do ask me what equipment I use. So the camera that I normally record on is or that I've been recording on is this one. So the Canon um, EOS RP um, with a 35mm lens. I really like this camera. I really enjoy it. The quality of it is impeccable it's great i love it so much the only thing i don't like about it is it's bulky well not too bulky but it's as bulky almost as bulky as a dslr camera it is a mirrorless camera i think yeah it's a mirrorless camera but it has an attachable um lens so you attach a lens to it and that makes it a lot more bulky it makes it a lot more um difficult to set up when it's time for me to record stuff that's why even with my travel vlogs there's a lot of contents that i actually end up leaving out simply because i forget to whip out my camera because it's so big or i don't carry it with me um as we're going um about because it's so big like for example when i went to cape town with my previous cape town vlog when we went to the sand dunes i honestly just couldn't record with a camera and i couldn't record with my phone actually for safety reasons i mean you had to have both your hands on um the what do you call it the quad bike so i wasn't able to record any footage but luckily hubby was able to actually sneak in a few um videos from behind me and that's sort of what i used to give you guys an idea of what i was doing but that's an example of how this camera is very hard to whip out and um 
record immediately when i want to because you still need to set it up the lens comes off so you need to take the lens off and put it back on before you record and da 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 da, da, da. sorry guys um my camera cut me off there because my memory card is full but as I was saying, um, yeah, so I, I really like the RP camera, but I wouldn't recommend it for stuff like vlogging because with vlogging, you just need to whip out your camera really quickly and, um, you know, record whatever you want to record. So it needs to be something that's portable. It needs to be a camera that's a lot easier to, to use, to take out of your bag, to keep in your bag and just carry around you so <laughs> the story is so long <laughs> so which is why i um went and got myself a new vlogging camera the canon um g g7x that i used to use i gave away so yeah I shouldn't have done that but <laughs> that's fine um i gave it away so now i went and opted for Let me show you guys the box first i went and opted for the sony z what is it zv1 um the reason why i opted for this instead of a canon because i really like canon those are the only cameras i've ever used is i've seen a lot of reviews about how the g7x mark 3 is really bad with the focusing on the camera and that's a problem for vlogging you need a camera that's very sharp with focusing because you know you're moving and you have all of these sharp movements and your camera needs to keep up with that so that's also something you should keep in mind if you are a vlogger and you're looking into new equipment that you want to buy and um a lot of youtubers or vloggers actually highly 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 recommend um the new sony zv1 so i got that and it was on special and take a lot so it was discounted by about 33 percent off i think so from around 16,900 it was 4,000 I mean 14,000 something so it was quite a, a hefty um, discount so I really had to had to get it and the very next day after ordering it the price actually went up by a thousand rand so I'm so glad that I actually um, bought it so this is what the camera looks like guys very 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 similar to the canon g7 x g7 x mark um two and and three in size and just the portability of it i really really like it it's very lightweight but it also could just be very light because i don't have the battery in but the battery is also quite small so it can't make that much of a difference so that's the battery very tiny very portable and another thing i like about a small portable camera is that you can whip it out anywhere without being scared that you know they're going to tell you why do you have your camera out or something like it's it's a lot more discreet than a big camera or dslr and obviously you won't feel comfortable being at a store and whipping out a huge ass camera to vlog for example so i like that this is very discreet and the nice thing about it is it comes with um, an internal mic so that's over there um, an internal mic and then with the internal mic as well it has um, a wind I think this is called a, a wind buffer or I don't know something cat <laughs> but what this basically does is if you are vlogging outside it um, blocks out the wind i don't know if you've seen um like with videos if someone is outside and you hear that sound from like the wind blowing this actually helps to clear that sound out so yeah guys absolutely so excited about this absolutely happy about it i haven't tried it yet i literally just unboxed it with you guys right now so i'm looking forward to trying it out and seeing how what the quality is like but i really trust that the quality is good because of the reviews that um i've seen so yeah i thought i'd share that with you guys for some of you that are content creators as well or your vloggers um yeah then i can just share what equipment i use 
those are the things I wanted to share with you guys I'm pretty sure this hair is ready to be washed now so let's just have a look at what the highlight looks like right now and then we can go wash it quickly and then in terms of washing I'm really not going to show you guys that because I feel like this video is already long enough but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wash it with purple shampoo and that's just going to clean out the brassiness of the, the bleach and then dry it and then hopefully straighten it so I can show you guys the final products before I end this video. It is around half past four right now so I'm really rushing just to get everything done and yeah. You know what, with this lighting you guys won't be able to see the color that is going on here and also it just looks different right now because it's wet but I'm really liking how it looks so far. I actually can't wait to just dry it and see how it looks dry. Now I just wanted to show you guys the purple shampoo that I was using. So this is it. Um, it's from John Frieda and it's the Velvet Crush for Blondes. And yeah, blah -de blah blah blah. So you can get that from Diskem. <music> I am done you guys I am finally done thank goodness I'm so exhausted but I really like how this turned out I am pleasantly surprised um, you can't see much of the highlights actually but that's the look that I was going for it's very very subtle um, it doesn't look like I did anything to it. The little front bits over here are like very blonde which gives it a bit of like pizzazz. Ah, absolutely love this. I love how it turned out. You saw from the previous clips just like close-ups of how it looks and this is just how it looks with it on. This is honestly one of my favorite wigs <laughs> from now on. I also did do a little... Um, let me move back a bit. I also did a little like clip clip over there of the ends but nothing drastic literally just like a small maybe like two centimeters just so it's like a little neater I guess and absolutely love it you guys. Oh, ah, I love this hair but yeah oh thank god that I'm actually done. I finally did this wig. I had been putting this on hold for long and I don't know if I mentioned earlier this is the same hair that I bought from Dragon City so the hair that was brown with the closure this is what I've done to it and I obviously need to just cut this closure bits part off and also the last thing I'm going to do is add this um, adjustable strap I don't know if you guys can see but it's adjustable right there so you can make it like fit your head I absolutely love this. Um, I got this from what is it? Adequate Adequate Hair Studio, I believe it is on Instagram. I'll leave their Instagram handle right here. Um, and yeah, so I'm just gonna sew this on just to make sure that my wig is secure. And that is pretty much it for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you're not yet a subscriber, remember to subscribe to my channel. I absolutely appreciate it. It takes nothing away from you. <laughs> Just click on that subscribe button. But I really appreciate all of you guys. And I will see you in my next video. I hope you have a beautiful day. 
play and blessed day night morning whenever you're watching this <laughs>